Okay. <clears throat> Can you guys give me a second to, to to link a few of these things? I know. Okay, so I need to share the video. Yeah, give me a second. I'm also doing a little bit of some extra extra snacking as well, but that's another story. Everyone, welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena Run. It's um, it's on sun, it's Sunday. It's draft day. And I'll be honest, this is not exactly the format. I, I I've been having a hard time with this format. To be honest, it's not necessarily the format's fault. I've heard everyone say that it's been strangely appealing. It's probably very different. I would say it's kind of at the level of Rise of the Eldrazi different. So a lot of the usual things we learned are not gonna quite them fit in. But anyway, um, enough moping. I'm going to try to see if I've see see what I've been able to take out of this this format, or if this format's just gonna take more out of me. Like if I can't get anything great, sometimes the only thing I have to show for is getting beaten up. Now our first rare. It's an interesting card draw engine, but I am already I'm really wary about taking this one now. Because um, this puts me in the mana value tree or less deck, which is not exactly the best deal. I would prefer to have black removal, but so, but there is a lone excavation explosion. It looks pretty solid. I might just take it for what it is. Also, it looks like white might be overtaken between the with the combat treasure out there as well. Mm, green's probably not going to be taken so much with Argot and Sprite. Red is going to be a bit of a hit, but I'm going to take the Excavation Explosion here. There, there is the blue-black draw two cards deck that's been wrecking me. I will take Turd Hat Iconoclast. Maybe we could go blue-red here. This one definitely being able to go white is a big deal. I should be on the lookout for other artifacts like the Pristine Talisman and whatnot. Th those also contribute quite well. Also noting not so much in the realm of red. N sorry, I'm not so much in the realm of black so far. I'm su I'm suspecting that those are getting aggressively overpicked. The removal is pretty solid. So we may need to prioritize um well, Scrap Trawler is probably fine. I probably want to take it at least. It's a good way to like recycle some of the other cards. Some other cards. If we can find an Artifact Sacrifice team, which is doable in red. Mostly because Koilos Rock is good. Rock Hunter, not so much. I think I will just take the Scrap Trawler, see what we can get out of this. Doesn't work well with the soldier tokens, but we might be able to do a go white soldier plan at least. There is a stone brain. I've heard stories that this has been really bugged, and I don't want to be the one to test it. There's also an overwhelming remorse, which we could splash. Might not be the worst thing to splash for. It also gives us an out to black, black. And I'm surprised it's actually here this late. I am probably going to take this actually. Let's um put let's dip our foot in black a bit. We should also be on the lookout for um for mana fixing there was the mana fixing artifact a while ago it's a bit expensive but it's better than nothing hmm. 
he might be going into black this this is a late this figure as well looks like um black might be kind of open at this point we did pass some black earlier but th th those those are not the really solid black cards so we might have something in for us we do need to have more creature creatures but um if we can get more of these guys or something to that effect, we might be able to um, we might be able to scrounge together a heavy removal deck again. That said, there are some cards that are the bane of our existence, and so and at worst, I'm just gonna have to take a potato chip and eat to see if I can um. But at the very least, it calms my nerves a bit. Well, we got our, we got a Mox Amber that is uh, super greedy. But is there anything better? There's a Machine Over Matter, which is a blue spell. This is probably the more responsible pick. It's not because it's very unlikely that we're, we're going to play this Mox Amber unless we hit Cert. There are legendaries. I don't know if we're going to necessarily get them. If I take this, this is just a greed pick. Uh, we, I don't really want. I'm not actually sure what colors we're in. Also, so I should. Uh, so I should take machine over matter. Coastal bulwark is also a possible one. No, we'll take the machine over matter here. Got an uh, okay. Underground river is solid here. It does give us fixing. We are passing on another coilos rock, but um, we really need to make up our mind what colors we're in. That's usually what gets us killed. But in the meantime, let's at least fix our mana base a bit. Kixen Skull Flare, Goring Warplow. I think I do want to take a Goring Warplow. Let's um, have something big. There is a Battlefield Butcher, but this is more for the green X deck. It's... Yeah, let's take at least one big solid card that we can cast at any time. Tracks of Demons also probably good. There's a Scatter Ray, which is quite solid if we want to go into blue-black. No, actually, if we want to go into blue-black, Latinum Adept is the way to go. We just need to have a way to actually draw into more cards. No, we really want the scattery. I'm not so sure about these two. It's really what colors are do we want to get in? I'm gonna take the Latinum add up for this case though. Hey Jericho and Lagan, thank you for liking the stream. How are you doing? Um it's actually nice nice to hear that um, you've been doing successful. Otherwise I would have thought that um this format was just horrible. No, it's not the format. It's probably it's mostly just me, and I would agree with that. Mm, I will take one safety energy refractor. I think mind worker is also pr probably better. I heard some good things about Gix's caress. It's just n I'm not too sure about the colors I want to be in. I still am trying to make up my mind. Mm -hmm. I know the stone brain does nothing, but do I want to cast any of these other things? Onslaught is a maybe. Yeah. Also, we're not definitely not gonna run that. Drafting Grixis. Yeah, hoping. F Wait. Okay, I need to. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Here's hoping for seven wins. I hope so too. I hope so too. Um, we'll we'll take one big one, but I don't realistically. Oh, okay, we did take it. Take an inter. Take intervention. Yeah, we're taking the intervention. It's auto. It's auto picked anyway. And wasteful harvest. Hey, okay, we we have a solid shot. Gix's command. I would like the obliterating bolt, but we definitely have to take Gix's command. This is really solid. We probably also want to go into blue black as well because we are passing an obliterating bolt and we're passing an unleashed shell. Um, these are not so much bad passes, so we're going to go into blue black. We might go massive. We're, we're gonna go massive blue, blue black here. Not so sure about the red part yet. If we draft enough blue black, we, we could skip the red, which is weird because these were, these two were my first picks. Mm -hmm. But we are gonna solidify our black as much as possible, taking the go for the throat. We do need to start get drafting creatures, though. This is a lot of non-creatures. I think some of these could be cut. 
but I guess it might have to wait. We put, could take a Scrapwork Rager. It does combo quite well with some of our other cards. Corrupt is also very solid. Maybe we do take Corrupt. Yeah, we'll take Corrupt for now. There are a good number of creatures in the bottom. It's unlikely all of them get um, picked out. But it's looking like blue is very weak here. The red might not even make it either. Oh, I take it back. There's another third part, third path iconoclast. Um, don't want to take the Gixus Caress. We definitely want to take another one of these. There's a weak stone subjugation, which is a good um, blue removal, but we can wait on that. We might. I think we are gonna go blue black here. I don't really want to take Swift Spear with our build. Um, three colors is a bit weird for that. Coil Lost Rock makes more sense. Supply Drop is fine-ish. Gixian Skull Flare, this, yeah, we'll take a Coil Lost Rock here. So we are probably blue, black, splashing red. I probably, I see the first, my first deck in the last week, um, the opponent ran a lot, ran a really solid deck with a bunch of these guys. I feel this is still too expensive for my taste, even with Prototype. I might just take Evolving Wilds here to be on the safe side. Combat Courier is also an option. Clay Revenant is kind of underperforming in my experience, so probably don't want to take that. Also, we don't exactly have any draw extra cards, so the Latinam Adept is also quite weak right now. Should keep. So Machine Over Matter is quite good. Something to keep in mind here. Also trying to pay attention what's up as well. Uh, Astronaut's Intervention. Do I really want to run? We probably should run this one for now considering our creatures are very light. But we might draw into more creatures. <laughs> not taking that. Oddly enough, not taking... Mistress Juggernaut is not on the strong end. I would much rather have another machine over matter in this case. Tower worker might be fine here. Um, give us some more creatures. I think I will take one tower worker for now. Let's fill out the creatures first. See if we can work into other things. Like a stone retrieval unit is fine. There's also a gigamol, which kind of hard to justify considering how few creatures we have. Defabricate. Um, might be okay because um it will count a lot of the spells are going to be artifacts at least but i think i'm going to take the stone retrieval unit and there's another coil lost rock definitely want to take this oh wait no there's some goring more plot. this one's more flexible for us yeah it's a kill zone acrobat there's an unleashed shell that i want to deny if we don't run it ourselves i want to at least deny it hey Boat Rares made it back. Uh, let's let's take the Brushland. I pr I'm not taking the coil second Coilus Rock quite yet. Mm, there is a Coastal Bulwark I could take. Yeah, just take more of it. Now Coastal Bulwark actually would fit here if um if I'm so certain. But um there is still one more pack left to go. We could easily be swung towards the other direction. Though I don't really want to take Symmetry Matrix, I'm just going to start filling these out here. Stern Lesson, draw two cards, discard a card. Yeah, this is fine. We'll take one of these. Yeah, blue is definitely... Red is definitely a splash color, so it makes Hajar very awkward. There is a Take Flight, which can, can wreck our opponent's day if we land it on a good one, but there's another Iconoclast. The problem is our colors are awkward here. If I take all the Iconoclasts, I really want to get be heavy red, which is not the case right now. Junker Genius is um, probably in the same boat as well. Honestly, the safe pick is probably Take Flight. Now let's take... Yeah, we'll take the Take Flight. We might have to take the Hall of Tag. Oh wait, no, we got another Evolving Wilds. We're definitely taking this. 
Now, moment of defiance is good from what I've heard, though. So this would, have, if I was not in such a dire straits in my mana, that that would have been the pick. So we are missing a few more cards. Now I wish I took that Iconoclast if I wa wasn't so wishy-washy about it. We could take an Evangel Synthesis here, and we can already put Latinam Adept back in the menu. There is a Zephyr Sentinel, which is also quite good. I think I want to take the Evangel, though. It, it does quite a lot of things. Um, well of Lost Dreams, not, we also probably want to consider the Combat Couriers as well. So definitely the Take Flight is going in. Mm, emergency Weld, not quite. Disciples of Gix, not quite, because some, we don't have an unearthed strategies at all. Mistress Bobble is a bit awkward in the timing. I guess I just take the Combat Courier for safety. Another Evangel, this is looking good. There's also another Disfigure, which I really want to take, though. Let's do a removal sanity check. Um, one, two. Gix's Command is three. Corrupt is four. We have an Overwhelming Remorse, so five pieces of removal. Yes, Excavation Explosion, six. I think we can do more. Yeah, we'll take another Disfigure. We can cut the Ashlaw's Intervention here. We can take... There's a Terrician Mindbreaker, but we don't realistic. It's just a 6447 mana. It's not the most exciting thing. I would rather have another Goring Warplow. So 1211, it um, works quite well with our what we have so far. Mm, I don't. There's a Turd Pats event that can help us draw into more cards. We are. We could use a few more trees. Because otherwise I'm just gonna hate I'm just gonna rare draft this. Yeah, let's just rare draft this. Uh, no, we'll take this. Someone can have the rare. We'll see if we can find a place to fit that. I guess we could cut the en the energy refractor is a bit of an odd one. It's actually we're actually manned down on that. We're probably not never gonna cast Hercules final meditation at all. But would I? But I don't really want the Dwarven Forge Chanter at this point. Mm, kills one acrobat's bit miss. Yeah, we'll just take the rare. Hey, we got the third pack iconoclast back, so we might actually be in trouble. Well, we'll take it anyway. Let's see. We'll probably want to also be on the lookout for other draw cards. So I probably want to consider the third path of that, though we only have one card that benefits, which is Latinam Adept. I might just cut that instead. Retrieval Agents, Scatter Ray is kind of fine in a weird way. But I think we are kind of sold on the deck right now. Bitter Reunion would be an option. Desynchronize the site. So kind of filling this out. Am I happy with the deck? I'm not happy that we need that we want to have red so early, considering that our deck is gonna be so red light. Oh what did I put in? Hold on. Definitely don't want the millstone. Definitely don't want to earn it after. Yeah, we do want some of this early red, so this is our mana mix is quite right here. Our blue black is a bit heavy. One, two, three, four, five versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna swap it out a bit. Four, six, four. The mana is admittedly messed up. I'm not gonna lie that we might have problems just based on that. I don't want to rely on the energy refractor if I can, but I might not have a choice in the matter. The scrap trawler might not even might not even be that relevant in this deck. 
I'll test it out for now as is, but I would not be surprised if I bombed out if I, if I bombed out again. Like I like it's been hard out there for me in this format. Maybe I just think way too traditionally. I would I was happier with Dominaria United. I was happier. I did not like New Capenna. I like Kamigawa. I'm also not liking the two lands here, but we have at least a go for the throat. Honestly, I should mulligan this. Also, why did I put the take flight? Okay, this is probably more workable. We have at least the Goring Warpaw Energy Refractor. Something to do. We will probably gun for... We probably will crack for red first. Hopefully, we don't open. So we might actually bin the Gix's command for now. Oh yeah, this draws a card too, so that also helps. I'm gonna take red first because um that's because that's our spot. Yeah, there, see? It all it all lined up. But I really need to adjust this mana. I'm not liking... So this is Ward 2, so... I can play one more land next turn. I can take this out. Let's hope our opponent doesn't make it too big. But we might be able to take it out. Like, I want to bomb it right now, but um, if it whiffs, it's really bad. Well, we have, multi we have mo multiple war plows. We're gonna play. We're gonna play one war plow. Give us a death touch thing, and we'll pro we'll play stern pleasant. Um, st stern pleasant. Stern lesson next turn. We're going on the liberator plan. So if our opponent spends 4 mana here, it makes it into a 2-3, which we can't... Though the flash makes it awkward, we, can, we probably have to bomb this right away. When it goes our to an opportunist, that's fine. Yeah, we'll turn this in now. Definitely, uh, we want to keep the disfigure in this one. I probably discard the Gordon Warplow. Like, sure, I could cast Gix Command now, but um, let's blow our opponent. Let's blow our opponent out first. get that out of the way and if our opponent plays one big creature we have Gix's command if our opponent plays a bunch of small creatures we have Gix's command we can also buy both war plows back which is a big deal no I could do Koilos but that if it makes it into 3-4 that's awkward I'm gonna go for this now so return each opponent sacks. So now here's hoping our opponent doesn't have really big creatures. But at least we can start going warplow. Oh, we punch. 
Hmm. This is also awkward. We can't hold back um Koilos Rock because our opponent is going to suss it out. Opponent is going to suss out anyway that we have something up, but we're going to play it slow. Opponent also seems to be slightly flooded in mana. But they are not attacking. So let's force them to use the combat trick now. Okay, no, got it out. Okay. Got an overwhelming remorse as well, so but we're, we're gonna go we're gonna start war plowing our way through. Also, oddly enough, we don't have any creatures in the yard, so. Oh yeah, energy refractor converts these power stone to a mana so we're actually quite solid there opponent and okay we got a slightly cheaper overwhelming remorse now opponent is super flooded but i'm starting to appreciate having all these um artifact creatures because um it means that as long as you're playing la lands you're fine Oh wow, I feel really bad for a point. That's it? I, no, not quite it. Our opponent can still play another creature, but then we will have to get them with Koilos Rock. Warlord's Elite. That's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, might as well swing at everything. No real reason not to. I guess I am happy with the mana mix right now. Only, but I really need to reconsider if I need to make adjustments. Oh! It's a, yeah, good game. Well, that was his last card. Our opponent's last card anyway. So there, we got our. We, now we got that was a satisfying win. Let's hope it stays that way because we could easily get run over there. My pixels command oh, really been sweet. I'm still dubious about the mana. I feel like I want to tinker a bit more, but. In particular, I feel like we have more blue than red, so this should not... Well, technically, we have an underground river. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Actually, yeah, we do want to cut the tinker it a bit. I don't know how right that is. I'm actually feeling awkward about the corrupt because we have so few swamps. So corrupt might go also. Yeah, it's Grixis Grixis is solid in the sense that um it gives you access to a lot of removal and access to quite an uh, access to quite an amount of extra card draw and gives you strategies to boot. Well, can't complain about this one. We got um all our cards in a row. Evangel synthesis is nice, maybe it might be premature opponent might be doing combat tricks, but um that's usually and it could also backfire on us. The bane of our existence, Wing Commando.
now we just need we probably want to play Evangel in, though it it lets us a draw this card which lets us actually pitch this one. I'm gonna hold back, we might be able to catch them with Coilos Raw, otherwise we just overwhelming remorse if it's too big. It's also possible they could catch us unawares. At the least, we will get the Power Stone token too. No. So now we have Corrupt Mana uh, as an op. We have Corrupt as an option, but I want to hold on to it a bit. With wood boots. How much is this to do? Hum, okay. Maybe our opponent does have removal, but I don't think it's inst instant speed enough. them with that one but now we are kind of getting flooded here so I'm actually gonna play evangel so we can pitch the mountain scrap trawler is a good one Our Gaivan Avenger is going to be an issue. We t we can take we thankfully have one free swing here. I could just swing with everything, then just go corrupt. I'm pretty sure our opponent will try to block. None of these is first strike. I learned that the hard way last time. So. Opponent suspects I'm probably comboing this off with some removal. Nope, but they're gonna go for it. So now we're racing. Our opponent might have flyers considering their early drops. The, our only problem now is that we allowed ourselves to run out the cards, so we might have issues here. Thankfully, it's um, Epic Confrontation. Okay, it's a trade, so not, that's not the worst. When they're probably gonna protect their stalwarts since um they've they've exhausted a lot of their stuff getting to this point. Mm, we pass for now. We don't need to draw two cards quite yet. We'll probably save when it goes pristine talisman, so that cuts our damage output a little bit. Yeah, looks like our opponent is gassed out. But they're going swinging because um, they're not going to try to raise the Evangel, which makes sense. Shoot down. Okay. They, they drew into it, that's fine. Still not quite winning the race yet, but yeah, we're gonna save the stern lesson for the last possible moment. It's possible our opponent might have it. Usually there is an artifact solution in the deck. It's very... Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not in a big rush if our opponent's just doing that. Because um, they're still losing the damage race at this point, even if they're gaining one life a turn. It's only a matter of time before they draw into something good, but so do we. They might try to re-equip. 
which we're not going to let happen. Yeah, so that holding onto that gopher the throat was very timely. If the thing, if it, if we didn't have it, we definitely would have fired off the stern lesson there. Now this is going to be super awkward for our opponent because this is going to definitely beat that race. You know, we also have our own pristine talisman as well. No, we could have played the land so that um, I could tap this if not. Well, I probably wouldn't play this anyway. Yeah, point concedes. There we go. We got there. <sighs> Finally. Well, it's but our last record was also two wins. That was our highest. So let's try not to get too overconfident. Let's see if we can get better, do better than this. I am slightly skeptical about um. I probably want to add more swamps, but I think this mix is just about right. Don't forget to hydrate, guys. Mm, yeah, I, I can actually watch it from here, so just tap it, tap out. Okay, we got a solid. We got a solid runner. We can turn path iconoclast, and we'll see if our turn path iconoclast will shine. I am playing this first because I might need to disfigure, and I definitely want turn two iconoclast. If our opponent swings, I'm fine with it. Then Let's see if they have a two drop that we can. Nope, it's Mask of the Jade Crafter. This will probably make a large creature. So say we nu we nuke this now, play Iconoclast, set up for the next turn. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, sequence is kind of awkward. But um, we will play the swamp so we can stop paying ourselves. Want to place a levitating statue instead? Okay. So not burning anyone quite yet. This also activates only as a sorcery, so that is an option. Now our opponent can just make this into a one-one. They, well, they, we have to be careful. They definitely can now. Uh, it's going to pay a lot. Mm, this is going to be awkward. We I have to play going warp well. We might have been better. Our opponent cracks this into a 5-5, five, five, which... Yeah, we would end up trading with one or the other. Nope, they're gonna crack it into a 5-5. Five, five. We... Now we're unfortunately drawing all land, so that would be a problem. Mm. Yeah, it looks like Iconoclast is not gonna show up this time. Mm, I could just pop it on our opponent, but I kinda wanna just take the hit for now. Because our opponent could um, just unearth and just crack make a small creature, that would... 
They could have an epic confrontation that ruins it for us, but um, with the many lands we drawn, this some um, situation is kind of ruined for us anyway. It's also possible that our opponent. Okay, looks like our opponent is gonna crack and make a small creature. Also, on Earth doesn't combo. Oh, oh, the awkward. I only have one red source. Kind of have to do it now. Slightly awkward in that case, but normally I would have had black base removal. Opponent goes epic confrontation. Yeah, we were going to chump block anyway at this point, but we need to hit him. Yeah, we're not winning this particular situation. Sometimes that's just how it lands. Oh, it has another A war mine. Then this exiles, but it's not creature, so scrap trawlers gonna, will will be fine. So we can mass block the we can mass block the golem. At least we have that good news. Opponent is deciding if they they might have removal. Overwhelming remorse. Okay, that it's understandable at at least in the colors our opponent's in. But yeah, we're so gonna die. Mm. Yeah, I don't because I'm between these two creatures. I don't. My hope is not that high anyway. Yeah, we just got stern lesson that this format is brutal. Yeah, we probably will not survive the next one, but let's cast this one anyway, see what we get. Maybe we might... Dix's commands is way too late. Well, not starting to turn out a bit poorly for us, but let's see if we can... Let's see if we can sur survive this. Um, maybe I, I'm starting to see the wisdom on adding more red mana again, considering how many we're so reliant on the Iconoclast. Maybe it's the red base removal that I should sh cut. Like I could cut it in favor of say a machine over matter. Which is not so solid as removal, but it's a lot easier on our mana base. And it justifies this more. Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with that. We'll, we'll we're going to go one less removal spell, which is quite weird. But then again, it's the one removal spell in an in the in the weird awkward mana base. It also did not help us that um we we drew a lot of running lands way too early, and our opponent was just nothing but gas at that point. So yeah. sometimes it just doesn't line up. And we just have, we have to kind of live with it. This one lines up. In fact, it lines up really well. So we're, our disadvantage is that our opponent gets to go first, so they will have lots of shots at us. Also, note that um, red cards are going to be a bit of a dud here, and black cards are going to be a bit of a dud. But we at least can get um, Pristine Talisman, get us a blocker. No, not blocking. Also helps their opponent stuck. And next turn we will have multiple options. We have Take Flight as an option. 
though this is a very soft creature to put it on. Might still be better though. Power is going tower worker, it has reach. We got our first black mana. Pretty sure our opponent goes to block. Yeah, we're yeah. The soldier token was a was pretty much a giveaway. Now that said, even if we lose the iconoclast, now we can go. Okay, we're probably not gonna play any any more cards anytime soon, but we will play evolving wilds. So this is choose six lands, destroy all permanents. We'll crack this. So remember, we can tap this for mana. Probably not the, because some um, this is activate only as a sorcery, so probably not gonna act. Okay, one's gonna crack that. So we're gonna crack this. Got ourselves a scrap crawler. Okay. Mm -hmm. So not exactly a combo here, but um, we're the first ones to rebuild while our opponent doesn't get to rebuild. And we have overwhelming remorse backup, so pretty solid. We did put a lot more cards down than our opponent, so that might have been an issue for us. So we need to push, keep pushing this one through. We have to hope that our removal and our rock can carry the day. The trawler dies, it gives us another crack at combat courier. So I might just do that. I'm gonna offer the trade because um there you go. So end of turn we can coil us rock if our opponent doesn't give us anything that, to give us overwhelming remorse over. Is something to give overwhelming remorse over. Kind of flooding into mana, which is an issue. If our opponent plays a big enough creature, I will coil us rock, then crack um combat courier, see if we can draw into any outs. Russ Goliath. Prototype mode. It does have reach, so it's a bit awkward here. Unless we play it anyway. This figure works. I'm not gonna swing with everything, I just need to swing with enough to make it lethal. Now our opponent might have a combat trick, so they will be able to take out... Like, the two mana is representative of a combat trick. At least I get myself um, two colorless soldiers for, the, for my troubles. And this is... Exile beginning next end step, so... That... We'll save that. 
Let's hope our opponent does not have another board wipe. We do have a Goring Warplow to catch up, but man. Opponent shoots down, that's fine. Do they have another follow up on the ground? Steal Sarah. Ooh. At the beginning of combat on your turn. command but not the mana for it yeah we discard the land that takes us down to one so we'll see how our opponent decides to catch up here like they can gain life with just by giving this life link no also thankfully our opponent has our opponent did have the mana to Target creature of your choice, so they're gonna give it lifelink. They have to swim. So let's see, we can. The opponent concedes, but yeah, I was gonna go Gix's command at that point. Whew! Finally! All our, our ducks are lining up in a row. I'm starting to feel happier now. Def definitely avoided that trap situation with um the Tokasha's welcome. Yeah, it was an, it's an interesting concept rare, but I never could get the mana value tree deck to line up. Not in the first sealed, not on my third draft. Okay, we're missing red for the iconoclast, but we can do we have a lot of other options here. So definitely turn to Evangel. Just um, draw and discard. Maybe we can land our land into a red mana source by then. Maybe the game is kind enough to give us um, evolve one of our evolving wilds. The double evolving wilds re re really helps us in this deck. Okay, but I will take Koilos Rock. Actually, this is a mistake. It should have been blue in case I opened into red. But since we know that um, we did not open into such, we will go Evangel, draw into another blue. We definitely want the mana here. I'm actually going to pitch the Corrupt, which is super weird, but it... In fact, I'm starting to be super sus um, suspect about the Corrupt working well in the first place. Let's see what our opponent has. They might just have if they just have removal for this, it's not the worst. Now, I could have saved it for something bigger, but we'll see. Yoshan Medic. Not the worst. Probably not gonna swing anytime soon though. My concern now is that our opponent might just stack an aura or equipment on this guy. And then we have we have some real catching up to do. Actually I'm not so sure which would be which would have been worse for us. This one actually the medic might have been worse for us. Opponent probably suspects that we're a two a, a draw two deck. Opponent might actually hold back instead of swing. Yep, figured. So if our opponent doesn't have any more to stack here, what we can do is we can actually flash into Coilus Rock, Mass Block, 
I'm, I'm even willing to give up sc Scrap Trawler in this scenario. So at least we have turn 5 Rock, turn 6 Warplow. That, that's at least part of our plan. The War, war 2 is, uh, is annoying, but um, at least... Okay. Not a, not a good time to flood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is. We'll swing first. I think our opponent might have that. Oh, it's okay. It's the expensive one. It's a good thing I. It's a good thing I swung first. It it could have been easily the cheap one as well. But this was a lot. That's a lot of damage, but okay, opponent has an obliterating bolt as well, so still on this impasse. Into an airlift chaplain. Okay. What did they Ooh. Thank goodness they're not getting back this draconic destiny. That would have been really messed up. But now we have another medic to worry about. Opponent did have the removal in a row. I can't... So we're gonna get dinged one point at a time. Our opponent could swap this out, I guess? If they want to get us for more damage. We do have two disfigures, which should answer the airlift chaplain, but not much of anything else. Well, I kind of have to do this to force them to use whatever their last card is. So that is actually fine as an, fine, that actually fine as a result as well. Even though they get to suit up the next one, it's not the worst. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hold on. Would I rather get cards back? Unfortunately, the artifact. I can. We can get the Evangel back, but I probably want to get. I probably want to get Iconoclast back. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, Gix's command sa saving us this time. Opponent does have a huge heavyweight demolisher, so. We tap unless you pay tree. We can buy some time. Because I'm by doing it like this, I could even convince him to spend mana here. Burn their time there. They play a survivor of Corliss, so. Okay, these two are not getting through, but everyone else is, so we'll take that. And we got our Gorn War Paul back. Let's, let's save that island. Also note that we now have the option to swing with Warplow because this has Menace. So we might take some damage through, but we are kind of winning the race here. Let's see. It's not doing that. If Scrap Trawler dies, nothing comes back. Tony? Not swinging with Cinder Maw anytime soon. We're not swinging with Cin against Cinder Maw anytime soon. This has trample. He 
Yeah, we're gonna play really conservative here. Because our opponent ne needs to answer the threat in the air. Could I just take? Because what I can do here is I can I can block with more plow. Yeah, we'll do that. Block with more plow. Okay, the ward. And opponent concedes! Time disfigure as a combat trick rather than a straight removal, but I will take it. Oh my gosh. I'm 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 red I'm feeling the I'm feeling the edge already. It's this is the best that we have done so far. And yeah, I got four wins. Ideally we get one more so we get our gems most of our gems back, but I want I want to I want to make up for all the for all those lost lost um, drafts. I want I want to go all the way. Giggs's command still a so, um still a solid savior, but yeah, I think it, I think this format is go black or or go home. What? That's a good phrase to say. I don't want to use the once you go black one because um, that's a bit contrived. Okay, we can keep this. Um, we don't. We lose on the turn one combat courier, but we will get. We guarantee turn two turn path. Okay, revenant. Now, sadly, none of these are non non creatures, but we'll see. Maybe we can convince our opponent to use a power stone, power stone fracture to take care of this. Otherwise, I'm probably just gonna play probably just gonna play evolving wilds combat courier. If our opponent wants to spend removal on the one one, I'm fine. Let's see what their follow up is. Usually, if they do this, they have a two drop of some sort. Tracks a demon. I am willing to trade for that. Yeah, we now need to start hitting our black mana. Opponent might just take this actually. Yeah, they're just gonna take it. They have an engine. There's no way they're gonna give it up. But now the interesting thing is we can block with combat courier. Then say start setting up with stone retrieval unit or sc then scrap trawler. Yeah, I think we'll do that. But we but first we'll take a hit. Just, there's no reason to do that now. Also, kind of want point it on Mardu, junkyard genius. So this is definitely a sacrifice bet. Okay, we got our black mana source, so we got that duck on the road. So we can line up Gix's command. We can wipe their entire board. I mean, hopefully you can wipe. Oh, they had the full cost. Okay, we're doing the wipe the entire board and their biggest creature. So we have to do mass blocks. It's a bit, sh it's, a, it's sad. Although I, what I can also do is play scrap trawler, set up for next turn. So that when this goes, I can get the combat courier back. That's kind of a plan. Like I know the opponent is gonna want to block with this, uh, swing with this one. I can I get a free chump block with the combat courier. I didn't really. Well, five mana for yeah. It, this this one has one of the really cheap prototype costs, and our opponent just drew into it. energy refractor. Hmm, same plan. Um, fix your mana any which way you can. 
Now our opponent could slightly mess things up if they go for the sacrifice route. Actually, they can really mess things up because this only hits x equals 2. So I need to check mana. If he goes for it now, I'm perfectly fine with that because that means they don't have mana to do it next turn. So we're going to be taking quite a bit of damage. Just those two. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna be disappointed if that those are the only ones you're gonna swing with. Okay, no, okay. I'm th that makes more sense. So pass the blocks. In fact, we block this one as well. Now our opponent has the mana to pump it, make it a six six. But that's not the point. Or we just take the six damage. Yeah. So this will survive. The, uh, yeah, so that's not. So actually, I am now open to the option of. Oh, they might have a... Well, a disfigure doesn't mean much here. No, it does mess some things up, but not really. I, I will still get Combat Courier back in hand. It actually adjusts our options on what we do with Gix's command, though. Because if our opponent's left with only Junkyard Genius and another and the Assembler, I can just sack the Assembler and, and pump something else. Hey, Mantilia Razon, thank you for liking the stream. How are you doing? Okay, so this situation looks... If it was not for the Gix's command in hand, this situation would be really dire. Machine over matter also a plus here. I guess I give myself the lifelink because I don't think the Junkyard Genius is going to be that re relevant. No, no. Yeah, let's give ourselves the lifelink. The Junkyard Genius is not that relevant here. Although, let's see, if we get back, we get these two back, which is also a thing. They're just not our strongest cards. I'm also wary of bounce, bouncing Junkyard Genius because um, we do have a machine over. Now, let's just play the Combat Courier anyway. It gives. Now, this one's based on mana value, so not getting the Stone Retrieval unit. Hmm. That was a rough one. It's, we're still not out of the woods quite yet, even in this situation. It's very possible that because our opponent has um, a good number of cards that we have no idea what's in, in them. We're gonna have to take the two damage if our opponent swings. I'm sandbagging the underground river now in case we draw into our stern lesson. I will also not be surprised if our opponent has an answer to scrap trawler. Though we have we can actually protect it with machine over matter, funny enough. More and more. Our opponent has all the mana to cast his full, so. Oh, they're going bat Battlefield Butcher. Okay. Oh, we could have saved it. Does our opponent give up the Butcher? No, they're going to actually take the damage. So we're going to play our Iconoclast. 
we can crack this to draw a card, but do I want to do it now or do I want to save it for an... Uh, I guess I play the river anyway. So our opponent can now cast this for full value. I am still willing to trade Scrap Trawler for Courier at this case, though I probably would sack Combat um, Scrap Trawler, but I would sack the Courier first in this scenario. Opponent seeing if they do have removal. Also, I. If it's a destroy base removal, I probably sack the courier first so that um, I get the benefit of bouncing it back into hand. And I might draw into one of our combat tricks. Who knows? Opponent looking me. Opponent going for the throat of the. Yeah, it's sad, but. Now, this is the only legal target for their. Overwhelming remorse. Let's see what we get here. So unfortunately, it's an exile, so we're not gonna get something. We could also dud out and hit a bunch of lands. No tower worker. So not the worst, not the best either. We are gonna take three damage. Our opponent can activate this, so we can take a total of four damage between the junkyard genius and this activating. Okay, well, we're just gonna take three damage flat. Probably should be careful about this one. Yeah, I, I knew it. We could have started beating down. I guess we can start beating down next turn. We just need to defend long enough. Like, we can block either of these. We're only going to take two from this one. The problem is our opponent could... Our opponent can sack something, give it menace. Okay, definitely going down to nine. So we need to swing with this twice, so that means we need to survive long enough. We need preferably an additional blocker. Opponent really conservative. They could have gotten more damage here. They're just going for the play red. Okay, we got our own going war plow. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Uh, hold on. One, two, three. We only have three mana left. Okay, this is super suspicious. Our opponent should should see some should see something coming a mile away. But we have to do this because we ju we are just two swings away. To getting our opponent we just need to buy time against their bigger creatures definitely a risky strat if this had been any other creature that left me enough mana mana to cast coilless rock i would be, i would actually have been happier like our opponent sacks this we will be forced to chump lock their war plow. We take some damage here, but we can drop the rock. That's actually not the worst outcome. Because um, this this would be like four damage if our opponent swung with this. We will de we will definitely double block this. Opponent might ambush paratrooper. Ooh. Opponent going for the other route, which is some um, pumping to oblivion. It's going to be interesting because they don't have enough mana to do both. So they're actually going to do that one. So let's see how our opponent swings. If they swing with the Junkyard Genius, that's a free eat. We are taking four. Come on, swing with everything, you greedy. Also, our opponent used up all the mana here, so they're... But we now have to also be careful because we're gonna about to give up two creatures. Come on, lock it in, lock it in. Okay, lock it in. Oh, it does give haste also. Okay, so we actually are in trouble. We 
go down to four. Thankfully, there's a disfigure, but um, yeah, we have to do this now. So just based on board, I have to go for that because it's either win, it's win or lose net one way or the other. Our opponent gets us for three because this one taps. Thank goodness. Does our opponent have a way to pump? And there is a, there are ways to pump this creature. Opponent's doing the math here. They could have a way to kill our. Okay, takes us down to two. They could have a burn spell, which. Okay, takes us down to one. Yeah, no point in holding back. You're, this is a flyer. The extent infiltrator. Okay, we got there. Oh my gosh, that was so close. That was a risky line. We had, but we had to do it. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, come on. We definitely made our gems back for this match. Let's see if we can make a dent on our losses from the previous from the previous drafts. So currently one five wins, one loss. We have a one we have one one loss buffer, I guess, but let's let's see if we can keep going. Yeah, that was a def that was definitely a good one. It's a very that was a very close one. Yeah, it's 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 a shame we can't just dumbly play Gix, Gix's command. The, the situations were quite weird. We ha we actually have to be thankful our opponent left themselves open quite a few times as well. Speaking of leaving open, this we have no, we can't cast anything here, so we do. This is a mandatory mulligan. This is better. I will give up the corrupt. So, but we do need to hit another mana. There is a chance that I might also give up, go for, um, give up Gix's command also if the situation merits it. Ah, okay. Things are looking awkward here. Thankfully, that you draw cards first. Okay, so yeah, we'll hold back on this one. We don't need the lesson right away. Perimeter patrol. I guess we start lesson first. So we hit another disfigure and we hit the scrap trawler. We're not gonna be able to cast stone retrieval. We will cast be able to cast stone retrieval unit. But not quite right away. Okay, there's a take flight, but Yeah, I'm fine with this. We'll play this one first. Let's get our Power Stone tokens down so at least when we do hit some of our um, artifact creatures, we can get through. Also, yeah, thank you for sharing, Jer uh, Jer uh, Jericho Elagan. That is very kind of you. Let's see our situation. Maybe this our opponent gives us a Gigamole. Okay, so not, not too bad. Opponent just gets a Gigamole back. Got ourselves a Tower Worker, so... an interesting strat now we have to hold on to the go for the throat our opponent might just cast gigamole again which is a problem if our opponent swings i can go for the disfigure plan I'm saving the go for the throat because it's harder removal. If our opponent has a combat trick, so be it. We just lose the stone retrieval unit, which is kind of already given us. It kind of already gave us their stuff. If we hit one more black mana, that gives us the option to Gix's command. As long as nothing happens to our tower worker. Opponent's actually letting it go. They might have a combat trick. They, are they going to just pump the mole? It's that would be some next level thinking. They do suspect the enemy does suspect that we are mid Oh, that's that's next level. 
credit where credit is due. You're not, we could hit this with and this get this one for ward. Ideally, I want to start drawing into more cards. We need to hit that black mana. Though we, we're not going to get any of either of these anyway. Not without help. It's still better than sitting idly and doing nothing. We have to, we have to go for it. We have to go for this. Wrong color, but um, that. And the opponent does have a shoot down. Okay, at least we got got that out of the way. We are in yeah, serious trouble, that's for sure. Okay, we got the combat courier. We can do a chump. We can do a chump lock. We probably will have to fire go for the throat at this point. Arbalest engineers, do they ping the courier? Evolving Wilds? Okay, close enough. Turret Path Iconoclast. Uh, it's slightly awkward. I do have to play it for the sake of um, putting creatures out there. I could also just... Okay, play this one. Crack this for virtually free. Bleh. Okay. No, it's I don't need to swing with it per se. I just need to have a board state where I can survive with it. If they play the Gigamole, actually, if they play the Gigamole, it's fine. Mo more often than not, it will be a t they, they will just recover a creature into two drop. Junkyard Genius, that's a two drop. Destroy each creature with power of two. What are our cards in the yard? Tower worker, turret path. Kinda have to do that though. Let's actually get scrap trawler and tower worker back. Unfortunately we gave up our now they play the Ravnus Gigamo. Well, ooh, those are some good hits actually. They might go for the Anointer, which is going to be very hard. Thankfully, we have a Tower Worker that can kind that can block it, but still going to be it's still going to be a tough call. Am I willing to? S oh no, they're going big. Okay. Now I'm gonna offer this as a trade. Maybe our opponent does pitch the Gigamo. Maybe they have a removal spell. Power Stone Fracture. I am willing to trade those creatures at this point. If our opponent plays this out, I'm willing to kind of trade it as well because I don't. They might probably just have removal instead. So once again, we're relying on our. We're relying on the bird. Not the. Not the best situation, but let's see if it pans out. Trench Talker. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna bounce this because I don't want to trade it quite yet. We can... Tr now our opponent has, has sandbagged quite a good number of cards, so... They, pro they probably want to play some of those instead. Shoot down, sure. Into an Ashnaut's Harvester. So we're gonna lose a bunch of... Well, none of these cards have an Unearth, so we're fine. I'm probably not gonna swing with the Tower Worker, though. Because we kind of want to block with it. Corrupt would be a bit awkward. We only have two swamps, but I'm w I am more than willing to take. Though I will note that if our opponent trades with Harvester, we will need another blocker. Otherwise, Coilus Rock is staying behind. Again, it's kind. Our opponent did go through a lot of cards. Well, so did we. 
they well to be fair a lot of the cards they went through was from the double gigamo so they actually lost out on quite a few cards i'm surprised they're not going for this one because th this is a this is a threat and a half on its own but yes we are forced to trade because our life total is precariously low low yeah we're not we were not getting command back anyway did we use turn lesson already yeah, we used Turn Lesson already, so... Okay, that's another card draw spell. I'll take it. Opponent really wants to kill Koilos Rock at this time. They could also just un they could also unearth this and cast trench stalker. No, they're going for the dragon engine. Ooh, that puts some breaks. Oh my god, the blast. The good news is we we are going to force them to block. What happens here now is our opponent is going to try to preserve the engine for as long as possible. If our if our opponent has removal for the in for our creature, yeah. that's actually more. Of a, this is actually quite a dud card late game. That's not a dud card late game. Okay, that's game. Our opponent now has the now has enough to get through. Ah, uh, well, can't. That, it is what it is. I can't complain. I can't complain too much about that. That was a. We did let ourselves get get way too low. Our opponent definitely had enough removal on standby. Pretty solid job all throughout. Okay, and any match could be our last, but um, let's hopefully win the next two. Other, but otherwise, I'm at least happy with this draft. We got uh, we, this is the hot most that we've gotten. I certainly want more. Hey, Philip, thank you for liking the stream. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, and um. The game that you're watching here could be our could be the last game. But I'm hoping it's not quite yet. I'm this is the happiest I've been play, doing Brother Smart Draft. And yeah, so this is solid keep. We have the evolving wilds to now grab a swamp since we don't we have quite a few blue cards but not so many that I don't mind taking damage from them. We have a lot more black cards. And we have a corrupt, so we definitely want to hit our swamps. Unf this is probably that's pro that is the only time where it is a dud, but we can hold up go for the throat. Yeah, sometimes I don't play I I don't plan for this. Okay, we're not going for the throat anytime soon. Hmm. It is a 1-1. One, one. We do have a strat here. We can... If our opponent doesn't remove this, we can just energy refractor and hope for something else. If our opponent plays a regular creature, that's a go for the troll target. I am tempted to... Ev Evangel or Energy Refractor to draw into a card and hopefully hit our other land drop, but let's play it safe. Also, there is enough utility in this creature that I am very willing to that I am very willing to kill it. When it hits a scrap work major. Okay. If our opponent swings with the warp claw, I will trade. Christine Talisman. Okay, yeah, we're definitely playing that first. It secures our mana, gives us another, and gives us another one one, and you can start gaining life off it. No. I want to play the sack strat. They will inevitably have. No, 
Oh, they might just have removal for the third pan iconoclast at this point, but that's not the worst. It means I. Yeah, I figured they'd have that. This. So we now hit 5 mana. So how do we do this? Definitely want to place our own stone retrieval unit because it sets us up for a Goring War, a bigger Goring War Plow. I am still willing to take damage from their Goring War Plow because it's just a prototype. We will have the real deal next turn. Also, want to consider playing Evangel Synthesis and holding these two back. Now, if our opponent's setting it up like this, that means they definitely have a... Okay, not the worst. Maybe I should not have played that land, though. I could have eat... I, I could have pitched it. But we're gonna play the Evangel first, see if... Um, swamp... Yeah, I did say I wanted more Swamps, but... This is a case where we do have to pitch the Swamp. Also, the way it shows the mana is weird. I definitely would attack Pristine Talisman. It's not like we have colorless costs. I will note that our opponent... Okay, going for the big engine. Okay, did hit that. Yeah, let's just play the refractor first. Gives us a gives us our own Goring War Plow, so that's something. No, I can swing with this at the Evangel. Um it'll force chump. It'll force a chump lock. But the, in, the dragon engine's probably gonna kill us if we're not sure. So we're gonna play our Goring War. We need to start we need to start forcing our opponent somehow. Let's, let's see. This is two mana for a plus one, so they have seven, eight, nine at their disposal. Now, technically, they can just pay this and start sacking some of these. Nope. They're not going safe, they're playing one. That means they have more cards in store. Another strong bull. Nothing. Yeah, we will trade for one strong bull. We will take out one, and we will trade their prototype more plow. I could have swung with the swung with this other one as well, but yeah, I should have actually swung with that other one. Opponent deciding if they want to say throw some damage my way, which is not a bad strat. Oh, the plus one. Oh, it also has the plus one. That's it. That's a bummer. Yeah, we're probably gonna... Unless we can get removal for this, we're probably gonna lose. If our opponent has an overwhelming remorse, we are definitely gonna lose. Ah, well... That... Doing all... You're do, doing all right? That's uh, um, great to hear. Actually, despite how dire the game sounds... Looking right now, I would say I am actually doing all right. Yeah, I forgot that this has a pump effect. All of these pump, actually. Now, this one's more free than this one, but... Yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna win this one. Like, if we hit... We will need to hit the Gixxas command. And that would and encourage our... Okay, opponent actually let it go. 
It's just an interesting strat. Cornstone Seeker. Maybe we hit the Gixxas come No, we did not. Kinda needed that. Did not happen. That's a good game. Falaji Dragon Engine is pretty solid and common, I would say. Mm. It didn't line up for us, but um, well, it's fine. We we got we got ourselves uh, our first de very decent draft. Yeah, definitely going multiple colors is the way to go. Though some um, same caveats still apply. You don't want to lean too much on. You don't want to spread too far evenly, no matter how many evolving walls you have. It does. It still takes time away from your from the beginning your early game and it's quite relevant yeah but you know what let's claim those wins and call and call this episode a day so there we, there we go that's gonna be it for this episode of magic arena run if you like what you saw please don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications and whatnot i believe that's my first giant rule all right I'm, I've heard some people doing really well in drafts, some people doing really poorly, but yeah, I would say that um, the format is, this format has been very different to say the least. And it's very different in a decent enough way that I can't complain too much about it. It's, it doesn't feel like a complete trap compared to Rise of the Eldrazi. Um, a lot more things are viable, but some things are still underpowered. I would say that the tree the uh, three mana or less CMC archetype is or still horrible. I would probably stop playing that one. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Many thanks to all those who tuned in. Many thanks to Jericho Ilaga and many thanks to Mantilla Razon. Many thanks to Philip M. Gibo. I, I, I wish you all guys a great rest of the year. If you have a great, So do, do take care, everyone. Stay safe. God bless. And happy holidays to all.